Welcome Capricorn to your spiritual reading for May. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Using the animal, Archangel animal cards over here for something a little different for your spiritual healing and guidance. Two cards for Capricorn, please. Ooh, I like these. You got the Kingfisher, be patient and focused. And the snake. And remember, friends, these also could be your animal spirit guides coming through. We do have more than one. Um, okay. I am Native American, so I do believe in having more than one animal spirit guide. Um, there is a totem. And so whether or not the snake is at the top of the list or the bottom of the list, then maybe this bird is also in there as well. So it could be that, you know, if you know what your animal uh, spirit guides are, it could be one of these. Okay, so we have the Kingfisher, be patient and focused. He's so patient and so focused, he is going to get that fish no matter what, right? Because he's really watching it. With the snake over here, this is living according to your divine essence. Okay. The snake is a very divine energy. Super divine. Okay. So going straight to the Kingfisher. Talking about that harmony and peace and patience. Yes. And what are we talking about? Be patient and focused. And this definitely is going to be the perfect time. Be patient for the perfect time because that's when the harmony is really going to come in. And remember, this is spiritual reading, so this is your spirit guide talking to you, letting you know that patience is a virtue in all set in all settings. All settings. Why? Because there is divine timing for everything. And when sometimes we overstep things, this is how we get into trouble. If we overlook things and we don't look at them focused, then we could be setting a trap for ourselves or falling into a ditch. Um, <laughs> Right, so we have to really make sure that we're being very patient for that harmony to come in when that perfect timing will come through. So, okay, so staying patient and focused is a big thing for you. Yes, and this will bring in a beautiful transformation and you might even wanna let things, certain things go. So it's, it's kind of crazy because when you are patient and you are allowing new things to come through, a lot of times other things just kind of glide themselves right out and it's easier to let go of things because you realize that timing is over, right? That timing is over, that part is dead, we can let it go for the beautiful transformation. It's kind of like going through childhood straight into teenagehood. You don't, you know, you, certain kids do try to hold on to that childhood and don't want to go into teenagehood, right? It has to be a lenient process where they feel comfortable in doing so. And this one is actually saying, be patient and focused and then it will go away, right? Let it go away on its own time. That way you can have the transformation come in on its own time. So it's, it's very balanced, very balanced. Yes, traveling independently over here and knowing where you're, you know, you're supposed to be. Don't be obsessive or excessive about trying to jump, right? It's, it's kind of like you're trying to jump hoops over here and you don't need to, you just need to stay calm and cool over here and very patient with the queen of swords. So patience is really a virtue in this area over here for you, Capricorn. A live to the accordance of the divine essence is a very important thing that spirit wants you to understand being this snake. Um, the snake is a very, like I said, a very divine um, being to this world. Um, it has a lot of wisdom. And the snake comes bringing the light and the wisdom with them. That's what they do. Okay? They crawl on the ground. This way they can spread this information to anyone and everything around them that can access the wisdom. Okay? That's why they crawl around, right? Slither around, um, just spreading all this wisdom and knowledge um, with them, okay? They want you to understand that you are asked to be very aware today because the snake card is bringing you a message that something is about to happen. Well, that's why there's a divine timing here, Capricorn. You, all of this needs to come and go as it pleases because, wow, it's almost like a snake. That's what I've seen. Well, 
Okay. And it's doing that because there is a message coming in. There is this thing that's coming that has to be ready when it's ready, right? So are you ready to burst out of your skin and expand your life? Are you ready to shed that skin? And that's what this transformation is. Wow. It's all about shedding, shedding the old to move into the new. Okay. It is time for you to plan a holiday or move a house. Is it time for you to get married? Is it time for you to find love? What opportunity is presenting itself to you that you need to shed the old and come into the new? That's what I was talking about. Those children. You know, a lot of times you have this, I'm not going to be a teenager. I want to be a little kid and, you know, climb trees all day. And then later they'll shed that and they will get into teenage and the next thing you know, they're doing teenage things. And you're like, wow, I thought you said you weren't going to do that. <laughs> They were going to be a kid forever, right? On the other hand, this card may also be offering a warning. So also be careful of a warning, but I don't feel a warning here, so I'm not going to read that. Um, can you trust people around you? Um, I don't really feel it as a warning too much. Um, I just want to bring that in because of the death card. I don't see a warning. Um, and I, you know, but I would safeguard yourself anyways from anyone who wants to try to wiggle their snake their way in, right? snake in the grass around you, but I don't really see that so much. It's more about this transformation and really having things, um, you know, one thing dying and another thing coming through, <clears throat> a transformation. Okay. But you should always be aware of other people no matter what, right? Okay, let's see what's going on over here with the snake. Moving on. Yeah, it's time to move on. You have something that needs to be done with the perfect timing over here with the moon. The moon is reflecting that there is a perfect timing. It could even be coming at this full moon that we have during this flower moon. Um, so something around this full moon could be actually taking place. Um, so you might want to be watching for that. Yes, and it's going to bring in the Ace of Wands. So it is a huge time for transformation and having a fresh new start. Okay. And getting a self-care card. So what can you be doing while you're waiting for this to happen? How do you keep yourself peaceful? Get rid of any negative energy that might be, um, you know, just kind of standing in the way. At this time, it says just drink some tea. Stay relaxed. Enjoy. And this will help you stay patient and focused by drinking tea. It relaxes the body and allows the negative energy to go away. Okay. You can clean your space while you're waiting. Um, that will also help you um, stay patient and focused um, on what you're supposed to be doing. And this will just literally not allow the anxieties to come through. And this will take, you know, time because you're doing something else. So it keeps you focused somewhere else while this beautiful transformation is actually taking place. There's not really nothing you can do about this transformation. It's not up to you. It's happening. Why? By the, divine, by the divine essence. So it's something that's taking place that you is going to happen and it's coming and you don't have to do anything about it. That's why you have to stay so patient, right? And just wait. So you're just kind of waiting it out. You can look at the stars and look at the full moon that's coming out. We have the, you know, that flower uh, Taurus moon, full moon coming out. You can go out there, release some energies and take in the energy from the full moon and that will keep you at peace and calmness. And it will actually re-energize you. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.